So as you all know, the third Apex Legends anniversary event launched yesterday. For those of you who don't know, the anniversary event is a way to celebrate the launch of Apex Legends in February of 2019, which would make this the third year that Apex has been going. I was lucky enough to play the game day one, even though I would eventually quit playing to continue Fortnite. I hate myself for this, by the way. Anyway, the anniversary event is a way for players to pick up items as a show of appreciation for playing their game. You would also get free rewards, but you could also unlock in-game items, and if you were able to unlock all 24 of them, you would be awarded with heirloom shards. Now, the total cost to unlock all 24 of these items normally would be around $170 as a baseline. This is because each pack runs for 700 Apex coins, and you need 24 packs in order to unlock all items which comes to a total of 16,800. This price could be decreased by having a few things like EA play or having crafting materials which you could use to craft some of the items within the event. Normally the price wouldn't be a problem because you'd be getting heirloom shards that you could use to purchase an heirloom for one of your favorite legends. But as you all know, the final reward for this event is the Bloodhound Prestige skin instead of the usual heirloom shards. Which is kind of odd as recently players have voiced their concerns about how expensive the skins are in Apex. Just for them to turn around and give us the most expensive skin of all time. During the last anniversary event, you were given heirloom shards to unlock an heirloom of your choice. This is beneficial mathematically because this is a way for players to save money on an heirloom. On average, it takes roughly 500 packs just to get one heirloom. At 100 Apex coins a pack, that comes out to be $500 in order to get just one heirloom. So essentially, you're saving $330 at a minimum. But like I said, this year we're getting the Prestige skin. No skin in the game has ever cost as much as an heirloom, nor should it seeing as we all know heirlooms are incredibly rare. During the last two collection events for Watson and Revenant, you would have unlocked their specific heirloom, but if you missed the event or if you already had shards left over that you were saving, you could obtain their heirloom after the event ended. Now this begs the question, can you get the prestige skin after the event ends? And since the skin is not unlocked with shards, I'd assume that you can't. Now this creates an even bigger problem if they continue to go down this path as there will be skins later on down the road that you will not be able to obtain unless you fork over $170. This decision could be headed to a very dangerous area especially since they already stated that they are planning to do at least 10 more seasons of Apex which is 10 more anniversary events and if they continue to put the, these prestige skins as the final reward that's a lot of money to fork over. I understand that free to play games need these microtransactions in order to survive. Honestly, the only reason Fortnite gets away with their prices is because of all the collab skins that they do. Apex though has something that no other BR has and that's heirlooms. The rarity of these items lead to so much excitement when opened and you never know when your favorite legend is going to have their heirloom in the next collection event. A possible solution that I could see is honestly, I think if they would have made the skin roughly half the price as an heirloom, then I could see paying that much for this exact skin would be highly reasonable. This event is to celebrate the anniversary of the game. You would think that if they're going to do an exclusive skin, they wouldn't have it the same price as an heirloom. I'm sure many players would be much more comfortable paying $85 if it meant getting half of the rewards. But let's be honest, only about half of the rewards are good anyway. Another option that I would be okay with is if they had heirloom skins. And again, if it's not for shards, I think it should still be roughly half the price and you could unlock a skin for a specific heirloom that looks different than the original heirloom that you got and then maybe make it look a lot better i just hope that respawn really considers how the community has responded to this i know that there will still be players who buy the skin anyway but hopefully there's enough of a decrease for them to realize how ridiculously overpriced they have it if you have any better ideas on how they could handle the next anniversary event leave those down in the comment section below and if you found any of this information helpful or you enjoyed the video go ahead and, and leave a like and if you want to come back and see more go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications that we get notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one.